top of the program. Uh, this is a, a special award that we're issuing this year commemorating the 30th anniversary of this award program. We were, of course, looking for someone very special to whom to give this award, who um, had both shown um, an enduring and a multifaceted commitment to weapons conservation. And, and Richard Barker Grant, we found the perfect award. Ben, comments? Yes. So, first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to turn to Richard Grant's family and ask them to stand. There's a lot of love to go around. There's a lot of love in this room tonight, and a lifetime achievement award is something truly really special. And Richard Grant is uh, both uh, doggedness and dedication and creativity and leadership. And if you ask the Narrow River, who is one of the most valuable players over the last four decades plus, the river will tell you it is Richard Grant. Now, um, in 1972, Richard take the, took the bold step of joining the board of directors of the Narrow River Reservation Association. And the rest is history. It's a, a steady story of building support and dedication for a Narrow River Preservation Association serving as president, which he continues to do, but also helping to launch successful programs like the River Watch program. How valuable is it to have citizens, volunteers out there actually measuring the health of the river. It's invaluable. And it's a, a, a very successful program that continues to help inform federal agencies and others as to what types of best practices might be, uh, and, and local governments, what, what uh, steps to take to protect the precious river. Outreach and education in schools, Again, how valuable is it for anyone who's involved in watershed restoration and protecting rivers to get into the classrooms, to meet the future generation of leaders, to help inspire elementary and middle school students? And Richard Grant has done that repeatedly, consistently, in the name of ecology and protecting the local river. And then the last uh, thing I just want to mention is how enormously important it is to not just love a precious natural resource like the Narrow River, but to work with others to build the funding and support and membership. So the Narrow River Preservation Association is one of the strongest testaments to his leadership over the years and how it has grown from a small organization to a much larger organization. Uh, and the engagement of the citizens and the volunteers and it continues to grow all for a worthy cause. So Richard, congratulations and please join us in